Alright, so hello you guys and welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be reacting to the DJI Osmo Pocket 2. Let's get into it. Alright, so I tried to stream this, um, but that stream was an absolute disaster. Um, I started the stream at 1 in the morning where I am, but I slept through the alarm and slept through the release, and I didn't end up reacting to it. So I'm really sorry about that stream. I totally messed up. Um, streaming looks easier than it actually is online. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so I'm basically going to be reacting to the DJI Osmo Pocket 2's release. Um, so, yeah, let's just get right into the video. Alright, so instantly the marketing looks good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's that's the thing about the Osmo Pocket. Uh, my friend has the original Osmo Pocket, and I think the greatest thing about all, all of the... Um, it, it, even better than the fact that it has a great stabilization, it has great, it has a great camera, it has great usability. I, I, I think the the whole point of the Osmo Pocket is it's a small, do it all camera, and I think DJI knows that, and I think they're marketing it as the small do it all camera, and yeah, yeah this marketing m makes it look like this is the sort of camera that you're going to carry everywhere that you're going to use to do everything and honestly that's what my friend uses it for I mean it doesn't go anywhere without it because he can go everywhere with it if that makes any sense alright so let's go back into the video okay bigger sensor that's already really good um, because that'll give you better low light that'll give you better pixels that'll just give you an overall better image a wider shot that's something I definitely would like because this is marketed as a vlogging camera right and to you know vlog with a camera I mean I have a long arm um, but for most people you're gonna need a wide FOV because I mean you're vlogging with it you want to get your whole face and maybe even a bit of your background with it you're not like getting a studio shot where it's all close up and everything um, here we go 64 megapixel photos, that's great, you'll get higher detail in photos, alright, 4x zoom, I mean, that's really not that big of a deal, I have 4x zoom on my Mavic 2 zoom, and it's, eh, it'll zoom in a little bit, I mean, it's good, you can get dolly zoom, all that stuff, alright, so let's continue, here we go, 4k60, that's actually good, um, I know 4K 30, I think, was on the Osmo Pocket, the original. So 4K 60 is good, so you'll be able to do 2x slow-mo in 4K. That's pretty good to me. Sounds pretty good to me. 3-axis stabilization. Yeah, hopefully they made the EIS better this year. Okay, so I saw some videos, and if basically they said that if there's any sort of micro-vibrations that vibrate the Pocket, the original one, then it would make the whole image go like jelly. And uh, that was due to the EIS. So hopefully they made the EIS better this year and therefore hopefully making the stabilization better. All right, let's watch the rest of this video. 8X slow-mo, that's great. The GoPro Hero 9 has that, which I'm recording on right now. But the GoPro Hero 9 also has 5K, so I don't know. We'll see. I, I think it's gonna be a battle between DJI, GoPro, and Insta360. I'll talk about that in a second. Even underwater. Oh, oh, for a second I thought the whole thing was going to be waterproof, but no. It turns out there's a waterproof case, uh, if you didn't see. They did that with the original one. Track 3.0. Yeah, my uh, my drone has 2.0, and it's amazing. Honestly, I think Active Track 3.0 is going to be great. Even though I haven't tested it, I know DJI is great with Active Track. And uh, I know DJI is great with Active Track. Um, we'll see how it plays out, but I'm pretty sure the stabilization and the tracking at the same time are going to be great. I know DJI always does a great job with it. Um, I'm not really sure if it's like an essential, essential, um, feature, but 
I use it sometimes, not really all the times, but I still use it and it's still great. It makes filmmaking a lot easier, especially when you're doing YouTube videos. All right, so let's watch the rest of this. Looks pretty good to me. Stereo audio, that was a problem last time. It looks like they fixed it. The wireless microphone, oh, that actually looks cool. Um, I actually might want to use that, but for now, because I'm recording indoors and not outdoors, I think my GoPro Hero 9's audio does pretty well. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, this is, I'm sure this is gonna be like a knickknack feature, but it, I'm sure it's gonna be great. Motion lapse, yeah. The editor, I don't know how well good that's gonna be, but uh, yeah, that's cool. So, yeah, the Osmo Pocket 2, so far, what I think is... Okay, so, the Osmo Pocket 2. So, so far, what I think is, I don't think it's anything revolutionary. I think it's maybe, like, an Osmo Pocket 1.5, is how you should think about it. It's the same body, it's just it has zoom, 4K60, a better slow motion, and uh, maybe some better mics and a better lavier. Uh, and a better wireless mic. So I honestly think it's just maybe an upgraded version of the one is how you should think of it. I don't think this is anything revolutionary. I don't think it's going to destroy GoPro or Insta360, which reminds me. So, we'll, we'll take a look at Insta360. 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 Alright, so... Our next camera. That's what they're pushing now. So, look at this. So it looks like a 360 camera, right? That's somewhat waterproof. Look at the bolt time effect. I mean, it's a 360 camera for sure. But in your pocket. Oh, they're, they're using the same marketing as DJI. I, I think they're trying to compete with DJI on this one. It's the Osmo Pocket versus... Insta360's impossible in your pocket. And it's funny that this comes out a couple weeks after DJI's Osmo Pocket 2. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a poll about it. You can see that in my community tab. But yeah, this it looks like Insta360 is trying to compete with DJI. October 28th. Yep, I'll be there. Um, I mean, not very many people have watched this tra trailer. It's like 43k views. Compared to like, what, their 1R had 2.5 million views when it came out? Yeah, um, I don't know. We'll see. I think it's going to end up being the GoPro Hero 9 versus the Osmo Pocket 2 versus whatever Insta360 comes out with. Hopefully it's their 1X series because I would like to see a refresh in that series. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I don't own any Insta360 cameras, but I might. If that camera is good... I might. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.